Okay, Jay, I just finished uploading the open up video that will go live on Friday, day after tomorrow. Merry Christmas, everybody. Hey, Merry Christmas. JB, I was thinking about bringing the camera to Christmas dinner um, and maybe you could talk to everybody about, um, I mean, just to kind of capture you, have, how it go, is for you to talk to adults about what you're doing right now, and because I know a lot of people always are curious, are you in school, or, you know, um, that's what, what they expect you to be right now. Uh, what what do you think about doing that? It might be a little awkward, not going to hold you, because I'm not, like, just recording, like, our conversation. Uh, actually... What, you know? Actually, nah, low key. Um, I actually really like that idea, actually, because I know because there's that that happens a lot. Like that runs through my mind a lot. Like, um, it's it's so funny. I'll be talking to like adults. And they'll come at me. You know, they have these huge high expectations. You know, they'd be like, Oh my gosh, yeah, okay, cool. You did that. You did that. Wow. So uh, what are you doing right now, John? You just graduated, I think, right? Yeah. You know, I'd be like, Yeah. Be like, what are you doing right now? You know. Hoping I'll say school or something. <laughs> and uh, it's so funny seeing their face change when I tell them that I dropped out. <laughs> and I'm working multiple jobs and, uh, and you know pursuing a music career. It's, just, it's it's always like, what are you doing? Okay. Oh. This has a face. That's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have my support. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like it's like it's like. <laughs> I get, okay. it. I get it. So yeah, actually, that's a, that's a really good idea. Never mind. And I mean, yeah. and it is a topic that you have to to yeah, absolutely address over and over again, huh? For sure, for sure, for sure. I mean, because you know, people are really curious. You know what I'm saying? All right. So here we'll be going, and uh, you have to address it with Grandpa Clyde, Grandma Floya, Aunt Val. No, they don't already know. I don't know. We're okay. gonna. I mean, we'll see if they ask you about it. But if they do, I'll capture it. <laughs> All right. Signing off for now. Hey, Adrian, if, if it's not an invasion of privacy, would you mind if I recorded you, um, the conversation you had with your grandparents, like how they're asking you about how's it going, you know, how's college and all that? Oh, uh, yeah, no, that that's fine. Uh, I'm, I'm cool with it. Oh, okay. Okay, thanks. I'm, I'm just trying to capture the difference between two high school graduates and uh, the difference between the conversation, how the conversations go with uh, adults, you know. Uh, all right. Thank you. Yeah, keeping those grades up in college. Woo. You know he graduated at 16. Mm hmm. Graduated early. He was 17 then. Well. <laughs> 17. <laughs> That's a major feat. I don't know if you know it, Adrian, but that. I mean, just think about it. JB's 19. You just now turned 17. <laughs> yeah, he was, you know, I mean, if you come and see you any time you want to. Mm -hmm. You can do two days before. You know, I can see y'all later. You already know. Granny love her grandkids. Mm hmm. Yeah, we didn't say it wasn't. Mm hmm. So, anyway, but it's better when you get to your major. No, for sure. mm. That's what she did. She's now in her major. Yeah. So a lot of times when people actually are in their major, it's just really good. So Adrian, it's going to even be better. And server, if you need a job this summer, you need to let me know. It's not like my dear, my dear, that's what she's doing. Mm -hmm. I ain't going to let me know. Because mm -hmm. I was saying, we were having dinner. Do you mind being recorded for this? Yeah, you thought I asked him, what was he doing now? Um, well, so, uh, I'm just working, I'm working multiple jobs, and I'm building my music career. Multiple jobs? Yes. Like what? So, I teach on Saturdays, I teach guitar. Um, I, I play at Concord Church on Sundays. Uh, I play with the youth department, but, you know, every, uh, every third Sunday we get to play in the big sanctuary. And then, um, I do security also. Um, I work with the job she works with as well, uh, the company she works with as well, CSC, event staffing. 
Um, oh, I didn't know about CSC. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. What do they do? Uh, so basically, we like we check the tickets, we do the metal detectors at basketball games. We, you know, we patrol the oh, premises. You know fun. what I'm saying? Oh yeah, I just got my uh, security license straight up. So okay. And so yeah. what happens to going to college and all so, stuff like you know yeah. UNT has a wonderful music school. Absolutely, absolutely. They have excellent music. Oh, yeah, the best. Matter of fact, they have the best yes. jazz program I think. Okay, so I have point of over Forbes. Um, so. Throughout my process, uh, at I went to Cedar Valley Community College, yeah. and um, lost your lost your vibe. Oh, for sure, for sure. You know, I, I just just the school, the institution, just you know, it was it was draining, and and it, and it got to a point where it, it really felt like I was wasting time there, as opposed to really useful using my time. Needed to get into the music department. Exactly. Well, I mean, and that's the thing. I, I, I was. I had two music classes and, and two, you know, ordinary classes. But, but like, they're not all still, there like mm -hmm. like they are. Exactly. Or even the University of Dallas because they have a wonderful. I used to go to their uh, musical stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, just the university in general is completely different. You know, that's community college. Because uh -huh. at community college, you're not forced to make those connections with people, right? You're not forced to make relationships. Oh. So you know, we go to class. Once yeah. class is over, you go straight home. <laughs> you don't talk to nobody. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I like about where Adrian is. He's in the honors dorm, and everybody there is on the same page. So there's no, um, there's no um, playing around, and that's what I like. Yeah. And then that was different for Derek when he went to Baylor. He went to Baylor on campus, but his roommates weren't serious about college. So then they party. Yeah. Now, agents with people who say, hey, we're serious, we want to finish, we're going to focus on what we're doing. Community college takes a real effort to be a part of the, the environment, mm -hmm. the community, sure. the campus community. Sure. So you've got to have some, and sometimes, because I used to teach, you know, at, yeah. at the community college, you still, mm -hmm. and you have to make an effort. Yeah. You make the effort, it works. Mm -hmm. But then you have such a different group of people yeah. that you're making the effort with as opposed to a university. And, and what ended up happening was... Um, I don't know, like it just, it, it was, it was, it was that, like, you know, lack of connection, but also like, I don't know, that typically, you know, with things, it, it was different than any other thing that I'd really, you know, uh, almost experienced, you know, besides high school, really, it was, it was just like this really like lack of like, I just couldn't get myself to like, I couldn't get myself motivated at all, at all, you know what I'm saying, and I can't, I'm not going to try to blame it on the institution, I'm going to try to blame it on that, but it just, I, I guess it just wasn't. But sometimes it takes a time to go through stuff, True. and then you eventually get there because your journey is yours. Exactly. exactly. And I think this is exciting. Exactly. So you take some courses here. You can do it online. Exactly. While you do all this other stuff, and then just kind of go through it, yeah. and eventually you get there, and then you can change your mind and do a lot of different things. For sure. So I think I think being young is fun. Yo, this and, is like the best time to be old. Something. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. I'm happy where I'm at. Yes. But I'm glad for you because looking back, yeah. there's so much you can do. Mm. I mean, you can spend 10 years and just explore all this stuff and see what you like. And then another 10 years, get the degree, do something really exactly. cool, exactly. you know, like corporate or whatever. Exactly. And then the next 10 years, go a mixture of the two. Exactly. And then by the time you're with the fourth quarter of all these 10, these 10 years, you know, you're just saying, okay, I'm coasting, I'm doing what I like, I'm not going to do anything I don't like, uh -huh. and I'm comfortable. Because yeah. I've learned to be happy in these situations. Seriously, no, and it's exactly that. It's not like I don't plan to go to college, you know what I'm saying? But right now, am I willing to go into debt? Am I willing to go into debt for that? You know what I'm saying? Right now. I feel like, um, you know, being at the point that I am 19, uh, I'm still blessed to kind of still have that safety net a tad bit, just a tad bit um, of being able to, you know, be in my mom's home, and you know, as long as I have jobs. And um, right now, I'm trying to save up a lot of money so that I can really start investing in my, in my music career and really start promoting that, and doing everything I need to do to get that out. Um, yeah, yeah, until it takes so, off. Who's gonna invest in you? Uh, anybody who sees me fit. <laughs> I know, but that's what you do. You say, what do I have that mm. would encourage others exactly. to invest in me? Mm. What is it that I'm going to do? And then who do I need to have as a mentor to help me to do that? Exactly. Do you have some nice Yes, ma'am. I have a few people. And shout out to the Lone Star Bells. Yeah. Shout out to the Lone Star Bells. There's this awesome chapter of women who, um, uh, they, they support just, uh, just 
black talent. And, uh, well, yeah, yeah, talent. So, yeah, yeah. Because y'all are doing shows and stuff still, aren't you? Um, well, so I was with the Farm 4B, mm -hmm. uh, but we broke up because, you know, college yeah. for everybody. And uh, so now I'm redeveloping as John Aqua, or I've redeveloped as John Aqua. Yeah. Um, and yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so yeah. are you writing? Yeah, oh, you to know. other people? Um, but you know, that's for your money, though. You already know, see, yes, ma'am. So we talked about that, uh -huh. and we always said write and produce, and then of course you can yeah. sing. Absolutely, but everything else, <laughs> you know. What I'm yeah, saying? yeah, I mean because yeah. that's that's, and then you know that's yeah. that's the best one. To do. Oh, for sure. And, and the biggest thing I'm saving up for right now is a laptop, so I can start my um, my music production journey. You know what I'm saying? So I, you know, there's so much I can do. I can look up on YouTube and you know look up tutorials on how to you know record music and all that stuff but when I get that laptop I'll be able to actually do it I can start making my own products and putting those out and people who start to hear those and get more interested and realize oh maybe we shouldn't doesn't this person maybe I should let this guy write a song for me you know what I'm saying maybe I should work with this person um, but yeah, yeah I'm just saving up right now it's a game of patience it's a game of building you know, it's a game of just working hard. What you do? Grinding. Okay. Grinding the unsigned. Okay. <laughs> Derek, Adrian's mom, mm -hmm. she four, four, four careers. Mm -hmm. First she was going to be a, a deputy, I mean a sheriff's deputy. Wow. And then it worked. Then she decided she was going to be a pastry chef. Really? So she went to pastry school. Then now she's happy as a beautician. That's awesome. And she's, <laughs> But developing that talent there. I mean, who knows what she'll do beyond that, you know? Exactly. So, I mean, who, who cares? Yeah. It's like, are you happy? Are you happy? And are you doing the things that you can, because when you do what you really like to yeah. do, it's going to soar anyway. Exactly. You'll exactly. we'll see in that because why? You're doing what you want to do. Exactly. You're where you want to be. And then finding that balance, too, between doing the things you love and still being able to support yourself and your family, you know? Or, have you have you asked JB about his uh Oh wow the rest thing is tomorrow. About what? About uh school and everything. Have you got an update for you? About what? About his uh what he's doing nowadays. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> um Basically, um, I'm, I'm working multiple jobs and uh, I'm building my music career as opposed to going to school right now. I've, I've dropped out. You know, I know about that. Okay. Yeah, I know about that. So. Okay. Is this, she's recording for YouTube. And this is a temporary thing? Yeah, I don't, I don't think I'm ready to, I don't want to go into debt for it yet. I think that um, later in my life I'll have enough money, I think, to uh, actually afford the education. Uh, well, later on in your life? Absolutely. How much later on in your life? Whenever I get that, whenever I get that, whenever I get that money, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. Whenever, yeah, whenever well, I get that Well, he's 19 money. now. Oh, he's 19? Yes, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You didn't have a birthday? Oh, yeah. 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 That's true, yes. Yeah, that's true. I forgot about your birthday. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm working on an album right now in uh, Fort Worth with this producer um, named Ty Macklin. He's worked with people like Erica Badu and Indy Ari. And uh, he saw me perform one day and uh, he really liked my sound and was like, yo, I, I want to I wanna produce your whole album. Um, yeah, it's a straight blessing. <laughs> straight blessing. Um, yeah, uh, and so. Yeah, we've been working, and uh, we just got done with the first track off the album, and we're working on the so second one. In your, is it the same people that's been in your band? Uh, or, well, the, or those people that were at your yeah. graduation? Yeah, uh, well, so I, Different people. I'm no longer in a band anymore. I have redeveloped as a solo artist, John Aqua. Um, but those same people that were in my band, they'll be uh, on the tracks. They'll be, you know, recording with me in the studio. Okay, I guess. Yeah, yeah, so I still keep in the loop. They're still, they're still going to be there. They're probably still going to be the people that's going to be playing with me live. Okay, I got you. Cool. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. you're going to have other people that can sing, oh, yeah. too. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Um, yeah. But uh, yeah, once I get once I get enough content out, uh, you know, enough publicity behind that content, uh, that'll start opening up doors within itself, and um, I feel like God will at that point will tell me where to you know go from there. But what I have in mind is probably yeah, L.A. Yeah, probably the first place. There's a big place with a lot of stuff out there, a lot of mess out there too. So Absolutely. 
you got to be really focused on what you're doing and not get in a hurry. Absolutely. And just take one step at mm-hmm. a time. Yeah. And that's what happens. People say, well, you know, I get with this guy. He can, I can be right away number one. Yeah. Well, nah, that ain't going to happen. Nah, yeah. They tell you yeah. that that's not what's going to happen. Yeah. Because nothing worthwhile ever happens like that. Exactly. And if you look at who's, you know, who's popping right now on the radio, who's who's popping right now in popular culture, you know, as far as music, these people have been, you know, doing this for, you know, years on years, even before they were discovered. They were, they were still probably maybe three years, four years, five years before well, they even got to that. Overnight success takes 15 years. Exactly. Exactly. Somebody said, I heard that somewhere. And when you look back, yeah. and you see the history of these people, been, they were doing they, that when they were kids. Exactly. And they just kept They doing. kept on going. And eventually, they're, you know, where they are now. So, you know, I'm blessed to be at this point in my life and, you know, have this realization. Um, I've been doing this for five years now, you know what I'm saying? So six, well, what, going on six? Uh, so, you know, hopefully there's four more years left, you know, ten. You know, hopefully there's, uh, you know, nine more years left. You just don't want to be a person that when you get there, people look at your past and go, oh, wait, this yeah. was him. Mm-hmm. He did this at this time in his life. So you don't want to do that. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? I want to be true to God the whole time. Absolutely. And, Absolutely. and if it means that I don't get this right now, uh-huh. so be it. So be it. Seriously. Seriously. Yeah. Seriously. Um, yeah, that's a big thing. I, I've been blessed to be around the people I've been around because um, along with working with the artists in Fort Worth, I'm working with several other um, artists more on the local scale and um, yeah and a lot of them are Christ followers if, if not all of them and uh, yeah we'll talk about things like that we'll be like yeah and, uh, and, and even there's this one um, I got a job offer to work at this one church and um, one of the guys I was speaking to one of the recruiters he was telling me you know how the church was like yeah well, we'd like you to keep a clean profile and stuff and we got to the topic of me releasing secular music and he we got to the conversation, he was saying how like, it's not the music that makes it secular, Secular, it's the, it's the diction you use in the music, it's what you're saying in the music that makes it secular, you know, so there's no such thing as secular music, you know, the music is, is God given, it's the lyrics that you're saying, um, and yeah, I mean, it just basically got to the point, I was like, okay, we got to the conclusion that uh, there are several ways to, tra- to, to, uh, to say things, there's several ways to vocalize certain ideas. Uh, without using profanity, without using, right. you know, uh, uh, lewd language, exactly, exactly. There's so so many other ways to, you know, voice ideas. Yeah, so I want to I want to take that throughout. I want to apply that throughout my musical journey. You know. Yeah, don't. You know, that's the thing. People try to say they, they want to put you in a box. Mm-hmm. So you're this kind of artist. So you're that kind of artist. Well, no, I'm I'm me. Exactly. And how this fits. Because if, if people had done that, we wouldn't have all these different kinds of music anyway. Mm-hmm. But they had just said, well, I'm going to be like so-and-so that went ahead of me. Well, I may be like him, mm-hmm. but I still mm-hmm. have to have my own exactly. style and my own message exactly. and my own words. Oh, yeah. Oh, that that is important. Because people don't realize they think, well, I can get out here and I can do this wild, crazy stuff, but then when I get better, yeah. nobody's gonna remember that. Oh yeah, they will. Mm-hmm. Well, seriously, they gonna find you. They, <laughs> they gonna find, find it, video yeah. that you made, yeah. you should have made. Uh-huh. It's somebody's part. Seriously, and that's what's gonna be on the news. Yeah. 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 Satan likes to deceive you. Think, well, it'd be, don't worry about it right now. Yeah. But he knows how he's going to bring it later to mess you up. I already know, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm waiting on it. I'm waiting on it. That's how people, people know. I mean, you know, those people in the church don't realize that. So, you yeah. know, he said, you know, he's going to use you to bring all these other people down. Exactly. Exactly. He does it. He's done it over and over again. We don't get it. Yeah. We don't get it. We got, you know, it. it's like somebody says, well, I want to talk to my best friend. I'm going to talk to so-and-so. And I'm thinking my first question is, I can talk to the master of the universe or you. Seriously, <laughs> exactly, exactly that. Why am I exactly. going to talk to you? You exactly. be my best friend, but you yeah. certainly do not have the insights exactly. that you have. Exactly that, man. So, if, so the first question I got is how you pray. Exactly. 
Because if you have it, then you don't know. Whatever comes, you don't know whether it works. Who's bringing it? Is it God bringing or Satan bringing it? You know? But if I pray, Satan has to leave. Yeah. He cannot stay. Seriously, yeah. In exactly that. that. Exactly that. Exactly. Because I got a cousin that's singing, and, and that's what's happened to her. She's mm. been going. Well, I told her a long time ago, I said, she, you know, she didn't have a mission. Yeah. I said, what's your mission? Exactly. So I want to sing. I, wanna, I was like, no, you need uh, a mission. Yeah. You got to have a purpose. Exactly. And so we came up with the prayer. I said, because it can't just be about you having a number one regret. Nah. Right. That's not enough. That's not what God created you for. He yeah. created you. This is a gift to, to spread. Yeah. And yeah. since she's been doing that, you know, it hasn't, still hasn't been easy. But it's, things have happened, and she's had to learn because she's stubborn. She's stubborn. You know, when I tell her stuff, I'm like, okay, I can see where this is going. Yeah. Because you, you decide this is how it's going to be. I said, you can't just do that. Yeah. And you say, well, I trust God, but mm. there's no but. There's no but, yeah. So I trust God, period. <laughs> period, yeah. That's it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. In the arts industry, there are people um, designed ahead of time to, to do one of two things with you. Either to move you in the right direction or in the wrong direction. Okay? Your mother, by design, is going to help try to move you in the right direction. Okay? And no matter what anybody else says or does, I would go with her intuition. Oh, absolutely. All right. Uh, there was a boy named, uh, what's his name? Lonnie Dyson, babe? Lonnie Dyson, was that his name? <laughs> he had a beautiful voice. And was, was, was really, really great at a singing art. Anyway, um, it's, how, how does that song go if you won't let me love you or something like that. Anyway, uh, that song just took off like crazy. And everybody went crazy. Oh, we, we want to take him to do this with him. And his mother traveled everywhere with him. Anyway, his mother, his mother told him, no, son, this, this is going to be the wrong direction. Mm. And that's the last you heard of him. In that area. Mm. But a lot of times what we see as the spotlight it's not God's spotlight wow. for us. Yeah. Yeah, no, yeah. Okay. Yeah. He said something that I want to, want to tell you a quick Bible story about. Um, he said, you know, he talked about God preparing the way for you and God doing some things that look little, but in fact they turn out to be big in people's lives. Yeah. Let me tell you a quick story. So Jesus tells his disciples, he tells a couple of them, he says, hey, you guys go into the next town up there. And when you get there, go to this inn. And when you get to the inn, you'll see a donkey tied up right there. Um, go ahead and loose the donkey and bring the donkey to me. And if the owner of the inn asks you where you're going with that donkey, just tell him your master has need of it. Mm. So these guys take off and they go into the town. And they get to this inn and the donkey tied up out there. So you can imagine them looking at each other. You think that's a donkey? Yeah. That's the end. It's a donkey. So they go up and they untie the donkey and they start to walk away. And the owner says, hey, where are you going with the donkey? Imagine them looking at each other. Our, uh, our master has need of him. Oh, okay. Wow. Wow. And, and God, God just does that. He does that in people's lives. Okay. Yeah. You have to listen. Wow. I'll tell you another story that didn't go quite as nicely. So this one prophet was told by God personally to go into a certain town and to tell a man a certain thing and then to leave and come back. And very specifically, not to stop along the way. Mm. He goes into the town. He delivers the message. It's real late at night. He's on his way back. And the, and the, the, uh, the man who's the, the uh, man in the house there says, oh, no, 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 you, you don't want to leave this lady. Just stay in and, and rest here and have dinner with us. He says, oh, I can't do that. See, the Lord told me, you know, and he told, repeated for him what the Lord has told him. The man says, listen to this. The man says to him, I'm a prophet of God also. Mm. 
And I can tell you that it'd be all right if you stayed here for the night and then went back afterward. The man stayed. On the way home, the man was met by a wild animal and killed. Wow. And that so-called prophet went and buried his body. Wow. But you know, sometimes that... So again, Sheesh. knowing which way to listen, yeah. you know what the secret is? What do you think the secret to knowing which voice to listen to? I'd say just listen to God's voice, regardless of anybody else's voice. Okay. That, that's my first thought of it. All right. Yeah. Do you think if there was anybody who would know what God wanted him to do, it would be Jesus, the way he walked on the earth? Yeah. One time, Jesus had just finished a big healing thing. Mm -hmm. And uh, the next morning, the guys woke up and they, they're going like, hey, where's Jesus? You know, this thing is cooking, man. We got to yeah. yeah, let's keep going. And uh, one of them said, well, um, I think I saw him heading out to the, to the uh, forest there. And she said, okay, so when they went to look for him, there he was. Got up off his knees, and they're saying, Jesus, you know, we need to get back to the town. Think that. He says, uh, no, I must needs go to Samaria. Mm. There are other things to do. The point is, it doesn't matter how bright and how glitzy things look yeah. for where you are right now. If that's where God wants you to be right there, then be right there. Exactly. But if he tells you in the next moment, Ooh. leave this place, go back over here, yeah. and I'll tell you what you need to do when you get there. Uh -huh. Get this, this is important because sometimes he doesn't tell us yeah. at that moment yeah. what he wants to give oh us gosh, say. Yeah. You go over there, and yeah. when you get there, I'll tell you what to do. You yeah. ever heard that before? Absolutely. Yeah, my hey. whole life, straight up. <laughs> like, how I'm living right now, like that exactly. That exactly. Abraham. Abraham. He told Abraham to get him and his people yeah. and go out there to a land that I will show you. Mm -hmm. Where is that? Yeah. Am I going to be kept taken care of? Is it going to hold on my family? You know what I mean? Yeah. We come up with the questions, but listen to God. Seriously, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yo, thank okay. you so much for that. Thank you so much. <laughs> seriously, seriously. <laughs> I appreciate that. You stick with her. Oh, you already know. You already know. <laughs>